Hello and welcome to another lecture, lecture number 19. And uh, in the last lecture, we were talking about the mesh tool, uh, how we can make mesh and how we can apply this to shapes. Now, this lecture will uh, we will be discussing about the gradient tool uh, that is on 20th position, the 20th tool on the left panel. So, starting uh, with a plain square, I'm going to make one square or rectangle. Uh, I will make its stroke to zero or none. Now, what I can do, I can just click over here and click and drag from left to right or from any position from anywhere. Uh, the reason why I'm not seeing any uh, changes to this is because uh, none of the colors are selected over here. So it's only white. If I go to the right panel where I can see the gradient, the same icon, I can just click over there and click on this line, anywhere on this line. Now you can see from left to right, it's from left to right, white to black and white to black, same over here. We can move this layer anywhere. We can even rotate this one. Now we can move uh, from the left panel the gradient tool and apply it to to get the results as you can see I'm just clicking and dragging it's making uh, I can do the rotations as well and after that I can do the changes to, to, to this line as well what does these two things mean on the gradient tool these are the color bottles the more you put the color bottles the more you will get the colors in between if i click over here and just give it some color by double clicking on it and choose this one you can see uh, from white to blue or this green sea green and then to black this is how it works we can move these bottles from left to right to any position we want and that will definitely make uh, some effect on the colors as well the more further the colors are the more uh, mixing of these colors are better so to make it uh, real smooth make sure you you adjust these points according to your need if i'm getting this close to sea green uh, you can see this is going harsh i'll bring it a little bit back this is and from there we can do the white one if in any case I want to change the location from I'm going to make this black uh, to the downside I can just click over here and this will make it reverse from right to left and that is it it was uh, before it was left to right now it's right to left another thing that I can see over here is the angle so if I make it zero it will go on horizontal from left to right it's from left to right if I change this position it's from right to left and so on if I uh, made the changes to the angle over here I can see the changes on the image as well the next thing is from linear to radial linear is on a line the color changes in a line and the radial is from middle to the outer side so the white thing is on the outside the black is in the middle of the circle or rectangle and this sea green bottle is over here i can always make changes to this this is very handy and from here as well i can make changes uh, to the bottle colors over here and uh, rotation now this is the thing i got from uh, making it radial so the more it is lower i can see it's going to be an oval rather than a circle so if i make a hundred it's perfect circle over here the next thing about gradient is that i can apply this to outline as well if i increase the outline i can see it's black but if i click over here and then i have just selected the outline now if anything I apply on this one it will go on the outline so I click over here you can see uh, I get the 
color gradient color on the line as well on the stroke as well i can, I can change the position as well uh, to the outline one more thing that uh, is very important regarding to the uh, a gradient tool is the opacity and the location i can manually set the location for this bottle for this color and i can manually set the opacity of this color so if you want something on a black uh, on a white thing and you want a shadow something a, a, something kind of a shadow so if i remove this i make a circle and i will remove the line and i will make the gradient a little more I can delete as well. I can delete any bottle anytime and move this one. The minimum is one for a minimum is two for the gradient. So this is one circle. Now I want to make a shadow. I will use the same circle control C control F the paste in front. And from here I can just go back to lecture and make some changes to the something like this now if i in the layer i bring it down and i give it a black and white gradient and that is for the shadow so if if i'm double clicking over here and giving it a white color and rather rather than radial it's going to be a linear position and the main black shadow will be under the ball so almost here now bring the layer down now you can see what i was going to do i can always make changes to the vectors as you know so this is where i am now you can see the shadow if i apply some okay up to this i'm good uh, if the background is white i can see that it's good but if i change the background to any other color I'm making a square for a background bring it back now you can see that it's it's not going the way we were we were wishing for or we were going to make it so here we get the next thing that is opacity if I change the bottle opacity of white color to zero and bring this to up to here and one more thing if I change it to black that that will make it more better so like this now you can see the shadow is going uh, invisible so this is what I was going to do now I can change the opacity of the complete layer from here and now it's getting much better than that so this is how we make the shadow and how we can use the gradient the opacity is a main tool in the gradient and how you set the opacity if I change it to white color then the mixing will make it not like the real shadow so make sure you have the black color here and I've I haven't selected this one so I make it black and now if I change the color for the background it will go with that see it's good and uh, for a real effect I'll have to bring the light from this side and have to change this like this now I'm going to tell you more about the gradient thing like how can if we can get the good gradients in Adobe Illustrator uh, we don't have to make the gradients all the time so if I want a golden gradient or a silver gradient what I can do I can get the gradients from this line or I can click over here and come to this gradient panel and here I can see a lot of different gradients that I can get from the Adobe Illustrator so I if I click on bright and make it big large thumbnail view you can see here is a gradient pre-made gradients in Adobe Illustrator if I click over here I can get more colors so the name is color combination so they're making every color in it and then 
color harmonies over here then earth tones uh, after that we can see some fades then another and then fruits and gems and jewels and here comes the metal effect that we all want so this is a golden one it's used for gold now the silver and other bronze and other metals so these are the gradients that you can use uh, from the illustrator and there are many more so you can try your own that you like so i i hope you like this video and thank you for watching and if i if you want anything more if you want to learn anything more about gradient feel free to ask for anything in the comment and i will make sure to uh, send a uh, make a video and tag you in that video thank you very much have a good day bye bye